Aquarius, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. So my name is Jade for those of you who are new here. I'm an Aquarius myself and this channel is dedicated to the wonderful sign of Aquarius. So let's begin with today's reading. We're going to look at a major life event which is coming up for you Aquarius. We will also see uh, the time uh, of when this will be starting to happening with to happen for you, to happening, <laughs> to happen for you with the time oracles as well. So let's jump in with today's reading. I'm so excited to see what the cards say. So starting off with a major arcana card Aquarius, we're heading over to here with this lovely little mini deck of cards and it will tell me the major energy around this of what's coming up for you, what's the main energy with um, this major life event. These cards are not messing about. This is your energy here. So we will have a look at this in a moment. But just let me remind you, Aquarius, this is a general reading. Um, so please take what resonates for you and leave the rest for others. Also, if you would like a more private, personal reading with me, just check out the description of the video and it will tell you all what you need to know. So what have we got? We've got justice. And it's in the, the reverse position. That's interesting. So I do see for some of you, there's going to be um, some kind of injustice. And I'm a, an honest reader, so I have to say what I see in the cards. This was in the reverse position. It tells me there's going to be something happening. And you will feel like you've not been treated very fairly with it. So I'm going to get some more cards as well to see what this is all about and of course get you some advice so there will be an injustice I need to give you this heads up and um, I'm not sure what this is tied to I just feel like you were expecting something and it, it doesn't go to plan that's the kind of vibe I'm getting so let me see what else the cards say for you Let's see, we'll, we, we will use this tarot deck here and see some more information attached to this injustice. What is this injustice all about? You also could be dealing with a Libra. I'll have that in your chart. What is this about spirit? you see that right mm. Mm. This is interesting. I'm feeling like it's a, it's a turnaround, a quick turnaround. Something doesn't happen and you feel a bit um, sad about this. You feel like you've been treated unfairly, but then something else comes in and it's even better. That's the kind of thing I'm getting here. So although this didn't work out, it was for a reason, if that makes sense. I have the Queen of Wands and it's in the blocked position so the energy is switching on one hand I see confidence I see someone being the life and soul in the, of the party very attractive very alluring someone who knows that they um are the boss they are someone who people respect and and are attracted to and and everything this could be your energy or someone who you are dealing with maybe it's a boss maybe it's one of your bosses or something they just know that they they own the room when they walk in it. But as it's in the blocked, it's telling me that they they may get this to their head a little bit too much. There's a lot of overconfidence here, um, which makes me feel like it could be someone that you're dealing with. Maybe this is someone who just thinks that they know best and they are very passionate with their emotions. They're very, you know... Um, in your face and, and kind of one thing's done here and now and they know best. That's the kind of energy I'm picking up with this card here as it's in the block. On one hand, they come across as confident. On the other hand, they're bossy. That's what I'm getting. They're too bossy. And you are going to withdraw from this. You're going to feel like 
I don't want to deal with this energy. I don't want to put up with this energy in my life. It's causing me too much stress. Um, and I just see you actually backing off and feeling like you aren't really part of this person's world. You feel a bit like, because with us being Aquarians, we are a little bit reserved and we are more thinkers and, and we like to um, get deeper in, in situations rather than, you know, have someone who's very face value. This is this is just not something that I feel like you would gel with. I mean, I personally, as an Aquarian, I wouldn't really gel with this person. They are too bossy. They're too in your face. They are someone who thinks that they know best. They think that they are better than other people. And I just don't like that. I don't like judgmental people. And I feel like this is a person who is like that. So it could be a new job that you're that's coming up. It could be someone who um, gets employed in your workplace. There's a really strong vibe I'm picking up with this. Or someone that comes into your friend circle or something. And you just feel, you know, I, I'm not really gelling with you. I don't don't like this you're making me feel like an outsider this person likes to make people feel small um, and you're going to be backing off you're you're going to be withdrawing from this and but you will feel like you know like um like you're a little bit lonely over here on your own and everyone's loving this person because they're so confident they're so attractive everyone's flocking around them like birds and um, but you're over here because you can see past the bullshit sorry for the swearing but that's what i see you you just you see past it um and this is why it seems a bit lonely over here on this hill but you seem like you're the only true one who can see the truth so that's what i see here but then there's another side and this i feel it has happened for a reason you, you weren't meant to be a part of this and you really need to uh, remember this aquarius if this, when this happens you need to know that it's okay you're not supposed to be a part of this and i wouldn't want to be would you i wouldn't want to be a part of these people who make others feel like this so you're going to um go on your own path that's what i feel and you will have the nine of pentacles which will let you know that you are very confident, independent, and you will have all what you need to water your own garden and make it bloom. You will you will take care of yourself. You will be your own best friend. That's what I'm hearing. So don't worry. Everything will work out. And I do see you feeling satisfied that you're over here and you're doing your own thing. You're making things happen um, by yourself. You don't need this. You don't need to be in this person's good books. That's just, you don't need to do that. So that's what I see. And I do see big celebration. I see big celebration, but it is at a cost. So you need to know this. You don't have to uh, be the most popular person to be successful. If it's not reigning true to who you are, then it's not popularity. Um, it's fake. It's not. It's not something that you would want to be a part of. I. I know I wouldn't. Um, let's see what you don't see coming. Interesting reading, though. You probably get a sense of who this person is. Maybe you're dealing with this right now, and you feel like this person is just too much. You just. You're not really sure on them. This is how it's going to play out. Uh, yeah, you're walking away. I knew it. I could have called this. Uh, you're walking away. Eight of Cups. You are leaving this behind. You're done. You're not dealing with this. Why should you? You've got better things to do. Um, and you're going in a different direction. I think this was sent here to make you move. Because you need to go somewhere else. Uh, I have options. You're outweighing your options. You're choosing a different path. You're trying to figure out which one is more appealing which one's more suited to you and you're you're picking your cup you're choosing carefully as well and there's the empress taurus energy and um, you could be dealing with a virgo as well i see so yeah taurus energy empress you're creating something else you're making something else your own uh, and this is the mother of creation. She can give birth to new ideas, new possibilities, new circumstances. But she does sit in a throne of luxuries. And I feel that you will feel more comfortable um, as you move away from this and find your own place. The Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're not taking this crap. 
you're not. You're being direct, you're speaking your truth, you're opening up your communication clearly and you're telling people exactly what you think and how you feel. I tell you, this actually does align perfectly with the new reading I'm doing on my other channel, Jade's Weekly Tarot. Um, I did a reading and it was about getting in the juicy gossip of things. I do collective readings over there and in that reading people were it was about someone who was jealous of you causing issues because they're secretly jealous and this is kind of what I'm getting maybe this is a jealous person they can see your worth and they're jealous and they're hiding it with a front and they're causing issues that could be your reading actually I have the hand man here saying that you will be looking at things a different way um, seeing different perspectives and being able to release that desire to control something allowing the universe to step in and do its thing really you're you're going to find a lot of new strength Aquarius there's a lot of new strength and you're putting boundaries up walls up you're not being a pushover no way you are not being a pushover you're finding your strength that courage to set up a healthy boundary a wall so other people can't um you know sabotage anything or make you feel vulnerable in any way you're changing scorpio you're changing your energy you're stepping into a new energy aquarius this is going to be ending so that you can begin a new abundant future yeah you're looking for a new path. You're taking what you can and you're leaving <clears throat> and you're signing a new contract and finding people who you actually gel well with. So, yeah, everything happens for a reason. I'm a strong believer in this and I know that this is for the best. Even if it doesn't feel like it, it is for the best. So just remember that. What will you see coming? Yeah, Knight of Swords, you're getting more focused, you're finding your path and you're going at, at it with great speed. That's what I feel here. You're so determined, Aquarius, and you're using your wonderful brain to find the, the right path for you. Perfect. Really enjoyed this. If you've enjoyed this, please could you drop a like and a comment on this video. I love to read your comments, you know I do. Um, and if you do want a part two to this reading, head on over to the Aqua Family Group here on YouTube. You can click join down below. Uh, and I always do part twos to my readings over on there. And you also get a discount. If you want a private reading with me, there's a discount. So email me before you, you, you purchase a reading. So Aquarius, let's see, when will this start to be happening for you? I'm going to get some time oracles now before we do the charms and um, we will get, get to see when this will be happening. So Aquarius, let's see, when will this be happening for you? These are time oracle cards, so we will check out the energy and see when this will be starting to take effect. Let's have a look. Bear in mind, everyone is on different timelines, so I may get multiple cards. I will explain this if I do. I'll just have to take which one resonates, which one feels right. Okay, Aquarius, when will this be happening? August. So could already, it could be happening um, next year, I feel stop waiting august okay so what i'm picking up with these cards is this could really be taking effect in august time i think by august you've had enough but spirit is saying to you don't put up with anything you don't need to don't wait around for this to get too much you it's okay to start this ball rolling sooner you can go after something you don't have to wait around but I think by August next year, you, this is it. You, you've had enough and you're going on a different direction. That's what I get. So I hope this has helped. And remember, know your worth. That's a very strong message here, Aquarius. Don't put up with anything you don't have to put up with. There's better things out there. Okay. Let's get your charms. Oh, we've got quite a few. Oh dear. 
someone uh, will be getting in trouble. <laughs> I have some handcuffs here. So either you or someone who you're connected to will be getting in trouble with the law. So just be mindful of this or someone could already be in trouble with the law, who you, who you know. Um, but this also tells me if you're feeling trapped in a situation, you need to leave it. This is exactly the situation I'm thinking of. I have a letter. You will be getting an important letter through the post. So just a heads up about that. Keep an eye on your post. Oh, there's a lion. This connects me to Africa. So maybe you are connected to Africa in some way. You might live there. You might have relatives there. Perhaps you've got blood there um, or ancestors. But maybe you want to go to Africa or maybe you've already been or you're planning a trip or something. You may also like wildlife and it validates the reading even further. I love all animals. But this does tell me you are very strong. You are very brave, Aquarius, and you have a hidden strength inside. You're also a born leader. Did you know that? We've got a fish. So some of you may be hearing of a pregnancy or perhaps you yourself will be getting pregnant. If so, congratulations. Uh, this is um, a sign of fertility. So fertility will be improving. And I also see you swimming to calmer waters. Oh, we've got a coffee cup. I think I need a cup of coffee. I'm tired today. Um, so this tells me that you need to replenish your energy. You need to try and give yourself some rest uh, because you need more energy. And also you may be going on a coffee date or going out for coffee with your friends or something sometime soon. You may get an invite. We have the hamster hand here. So this tells me that um, you will find your own tribe. You will have people who support you around you and they will help lift you up. I also see you having a helping hand. We have a reindeer, but he's only got one leg. <laughs> he's broken. Um, so yes, he tells me that the holiday season may be important to you. Um, there's something around Christmas which, which could be important, like a date or something. And also you find, you know, you find that um, family time is very important as well. I also see you finding the way to something through, through um, difficult circumstances. I've got a clover, so the clover connects me to Ireland. Maybe Ireland is connected to you. You could live there. You could have ancestors there. You might have relatives there. Maybe you've already been. You want to go or there's a trip planned. But the clover also says that you are very lucky right now, Aquarius. So stick a lottery ticket on. You know, you never know. There's a bat. Oh, just in time for Halloween. So this bat here tells me that you are, um, you have a lot of secret talents that other people don't really know about. You might also be very reserved and you might just have a close knit of community around you. You're not very trusting of people. So you want to um, only have a small select group that you actually trust. I'm a bit like that myself. I feel like it's more about quality rather than quantity with with friends isn't it and that's what I see for you what a lovely reading I hope you have a fantastic day Aquarius and make sure you subscribe so I get to see you again I'll see you on the next one bye for now